folks, Adam Fugan, Midwest Outdoors. Uh, we're down in Southern Illinois. It's the opening day of Illinois' second firearm season. 35 degrees this morning, nice and chilly out. I uh, already had some deer up on their feet, so um, hopefully, you know, the action will continue. Uh, we're, on, we're on this funnel stand today where the woods got a bottleneck down. I got open fields on either side of me, and what that does is creates a funnel for the deer. You know, get, get a lot of activity through here. Deer coming and going for bedding and food. You know, it's just they want to stay in the woods, and they're using this this jump point that kind of benches them down right to my stand. So hopefully, it actually keeps up, and you know, something good will happen. And probably five or six young bucks up here in front of us. They're all just kind of button heads and stuff. A couple spikes. Look like a, maybe a small eight, small six, but right at look like a two and a half, maybe three and a half year old uh, eight point come in. Once he walked through, uh, playtime was over. He come in and kind of walked all the rest of the younger bucks off. That's pretty cool though. that that was pretty neat as you can tell I had a little issues there he kind of busted me trying to get from get the camera lined up get to my gun but he was getting behind me so I was having a hard time with the camera where to get him which side of the tree to go to I made a pretty good shot out. I had a nice open shot, probably maybe 55 yards or so, 60 yards, not bad. Uh, pretty sure he piled up right over there, so that was pretty neat. It was a nice buck. Looked like a nice eight point, good brown tines, long tine length, so. Uh, so I just got down out of the stand. Uh, it's been about two hours, you know that we gave him. I don't feel like I needed to give him two hours, but, you know, I shot him pretty early this morning. And it's been just a beautiful day today, so I just hung out for a while. Um, and quite a few other deer were still moving, so just, you know, got to enjoy the day, take in the moment for a little while. But I'm gonna take a walk back here to where I shot, uh, go try to pick up the blood, and uh, hopefully, you know, track him and go find our buck. Well, here he is. We got him all drug out for you. Um, awesome deer. Super excited about this guy. He's got nice long tines on him. Great brow tines. Just, you know, quality deer that you're looking for. Um, tell you what, though, when uh, my blood trail, I got a little nervous for a minute where, you know, I walked to where I shot him and it just, I didn't find any blood at all. Um, checked a couple trails in the direction he went. Still no blood. Uh, but, you know, I just took my time, uh, worked, worked up a couple of trails. You know, I went back to the video footage and I couldn't really tell exactly what trail he was, but I knew right where the shot took place. So I went, made sure I checked that shot, that spot thoroughly. Um, but yeah, I picked one of the trails, started heading up it, and there he was, probably only about 40 yards away. He'd already piled up and expired. Um, so he didn't go very far, but you know, sometimes that happens where it's just the blood trail is, you know, almost non-existent, which this one was. And I mean, it was a perfect shot on him, um, double lung shot, but you know, sometimes that happens. It's 
don't believe too much. So you just gotta take your time and you know really slowly go through your area. You know check some of the trails. You know hopefully that helps you recover your deer. But uh, anyways, we're gonna get this guy loaded up and uh, get him back home. You know hopefully still got a couple tags left, so hopefully we we'll make it out here again for the second season before it's over. But uh, thanks for watching. More Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.